What's going on guys, Tim Murray Tactical here, bringing you another video on my Mossberg 500 Persuader. So in this video, I want to go over all the mods I've done, because I've done a substantial amount more since I've done the first video. And also, since I've ran more shells through, through this uh, platform, I want to go ahead and go over my uh, gripes and my uh, pros about it. So, first things first, obviously, you're going to check to make sure it's unloaded. On these guys, you have a uh, button here that actually unlocks the uh, the fore end. And then we're gonna check, nothing. All right, so we know she's unloaded. So, the first mod that I did a video on was the uh, MOE fore end right here by uh, Magpul. I love it now. I know I said I was not a fan of the uh, shape here, but I found like the more shells I've ran through it, and because it's a pistol grip, that is extremely comfortable because the gun wants to slide backwards and um, it kind of keeps your hand, your, uh, if you're left or right, it kind of keeps your hand where it's supposed to be and it mitigates some of the recoil. Also, I bought some Alumahide and I actually painted the, uh, the little uh, pistol grip there. So it's the stock one. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Uh, the finish, it came undone a little bit. Um, I didn't expect it to be perfect, but it, uh, it it looks nice. I just wanted mainly the color to match the forend, so I just kind of painted it. And it is chipped a little bit, but I like it. It looks a little weathered, so uh, that's one thing. Also, because it looks so plain here without the heat shield, I don't know if I went over that in the uh, other video I did on this shotgun, but because it looks so plain here, I bought this little tactical deal so that you could actually mount flashlights on there. And um, what's what's cool about this too is, um, I'm gonna go back to the fore end, there's, I guess they have something called an M-lock system where you can mount a light here. So this, you know, I can put other accessories here if I wanted to, so it's kind of cool. You got your M-lock mounting points, and then, uh, focus the camera a little bit, sorry guys. You got your M-lock mounting points on both sides, and then you got your uh, Picatinny type of rail that goes all around the shotgun, and Lastly, I've got the little fiber optic sight here. So that brings me to my next part of the video. With these shotguns, because they're pistol grip, um, they are, I guess, a lot of people regard them as mo mainly home defense and not so much accurate because of the massive amount of recoil. So I bought this uh, sight just so that I can put rounds on target a little bit easier um, without having to use the bead and, and get in close because it kicks so much. It is manageable. Um, I use Birdshot, the uh, Federal Half Brass. It's the uh, lowest power you could get. And even with that, it, it felt like um, a 40. I almost want to say a 10 millimeter, kind of in comparison a little bit with the uh, terms of recall. So it's manageable, and you can actually... Um, get get it to where you can aim it I mean you could do it but the issue is it wants to come backwards and up and that's where this kind of came in so you have the lip which kind of mitigates the recoil so if my hand partially slides off from the recoil it keeps uh, it keeps it there but with that said it channels it backwards so um, that's one of the downsides but it's still aimable and it's still you can still hit your target kind of like what I showed in the beginning of the video with the book you can still hit your target just fine. Um, so I love it so far. I do plan on getting a stock. So that's gonna be that's gonna be in, in the workings. Because I really like shooting it. 12 gauge is pretty cheap to get. Uh, you go to Walmart, you can get a box of 100 for, granted it's target loads, birdshot, but you can get that for about $20. 22 with taxes here in Washington. Uh, also, the badass factor. I, I always go over this in the video, but you, you buy one of these because that's why. I mean, it's it's badass. You don't get any better than that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's one thing. My uh, right hand <laughs> actually hurts <laughs> from firing um, all the rounds today. I actually went through 150 shells today in this platform. And I see why shotguns have a stock. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. But it's totally doable in a home defense situation, I would say. So if you... If you really had to use it, you could. So, I know a couple of subscribers asked me about 
pistol grip, and I had questions when I first got it. So, is it practical? Yes, in a sense. For home defense, yes, more than enough. And the um, smaller, what do you call it, the smaller form factor makes it easier to maneuver in corners because this is an 18 and a half inch barrel and you don't have the stock sticking out. Normally shotguns are 20 inch barrels, but you know, having the 18, you have like the compact type of deal. So that's practical and it's combat accurate. That's all that really matters. You just point in general direction and take care of a threat if you have to. Uh, like I said, so it is practical in that end and, and they kind of look cool. They have that cool badass factor because of Hollywood. Someone pulls out a pistol grip toll gauge and you know they're going to take care of business. But in real life, as practical as it is in a home defense situation, assuming you're only going to use one to two shells, because if you have to use more in a shotgun, you're in a bad situation. Or that, or you're purposely um, on the offense when you need to be on the defense. But that's a different story. Uh, but yeah, so if you had a stock, this would be, in my opinion, it would be so much more fun to shoot because you could actually get more precise uh, sighting, more, a more precise sight picture, and you could actually go through more shells. Because if you use those bird shots, they don't kick much in a sense. Um, I, I mean, it was controllable with the pistol grip, like I said. And I can only imagine if I had a stock, it would feel a lot more comfortable to shoot. But, um, yeah, that's that pretty much. Takedown, I went over. Did I ever go over takedown? No, I didn't. Okay, so that's another thing. Takedown on these. Very easy. You go back over to the side where the button is, um, towards the rear here, where my thumb is. Push down on that guy, and you rack halfway through this way, to where you can kind of see your um, your breech or your carrier or whatever that is, your bolt carrier, halfway. And then you go to the front of the barrel, assuming you've safety checked it, and you just unscrew. You can take that off. Just keeps unscrewing and then the barrel comes right off. Which brings me to another fact I forgot to mention. Uh, when you do when you do this, you need to make sure that your um, magazine tube, the little bolt here, is tightened because what ultimately will happen is if you don't tighten it enough, it'll, uh, you'll get light primer strikes because the barrel is moved forward slightly and um, the shell, shotgun shells if you've seen them, um, do I have any spent ones around here? I don't, but um, there's a little, you know where the primer is, most of them are flat. Uh, some of them you get the hot primers that are lumped over, but most of them are kind of flat. So the round, or the shell, excuse me for that matter, is kind of tapered forward as opposed to where the firing pin should be. So if the barrel is not tight enough, you'll get a light primer strike kind of in the nut and fancy video um, that he put up on that. So that's something to look out for, but that's to put it lightly. If you And also you can obviously blow the gun up, which you don't want to do. Uh, but yeah, so overall, how do I feel about the gun? I love it. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, fun to shoot, very practical in a home defense situation, and my only recommendations would be to get a stock for it. That's pretty much what I would say. Unless it's strictly a car or truck gun, um, then it doesn't really matter. But in my opinion, I, I'd say you have to have a stock with this. It's just, you could shoot as many shells as you want. Uh, I, I would not even recommend shooting slugs. I'm not even going to try to shoot slugs through it or uh, magnum magnum loads. I'm Forget it. Double out buck, triple out buck. No, not a. It's just, uh, like I said, with birdshot, that felt like a kind of an overpowered uh, 10 mil in terms of recoil and 40. So it kind of, you know, it wants to come back and up, and it wants to rip it out of your hand when, you know. So I can only imagine what uh, slugs would feel like. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This was Timmy Ray Tactical, my review on, my actual review on my Mossberg 500. Um, thank you, everyone, for showing... Uh, support towards my channel. I'm thankful for all the subscribers I have. Also, as I always say, check out Dirt Road's channel. He's got excellent videos. Um, the guys always supported my channel even from the beginning. So until next time, carry, be safe, have a good day.